Turns out AMD's biggest problem is their software. Elon doesn't want you to block him or his money. Intel is the greatest hope that we have for graphics cards, and they're proving it. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. This is Monday, August 21st, 2023. I don't know my watch, so I can't fact check you on that. Well, I want you to watch the fact that Corsair is launching their own toolkit in competition to companies like iFixit, Gamers Nexus, and potentially other YouTubers that make their own screwdrivers. Corsair, their PC DIY precision toolkit is gonna be launching in a actually really nice aesthetic. That looks good. Except Except for the fact that it's gonna definitely come off the sides of all of these screw tips. Oh, like, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it's something that I've been dealing with with my screwdrivers, but it's gonna have 65 screw bits, obviously the regular Phillips flathead, all of that, as well as some other security bits and bobs, and it's gonna be nickel plated screw bits to handle any job, including a flexible extension rod. I saw that. The price point's gonna be $34.99. What? Which is $5 less than I fix it for their kit. This feels like a pretty decent deal as far as like just getting it all in one package that, I mean, Corsair could probably even bundle in with some of their higher end cases or like high end water coolers. You just get it as like a little bonus, a little add on, you know, a retailer runs a promotion it. where you get both. Yeah. The best part about this for me is because it's Corsair, I know it's actually going to come to South Africa. Oh, you can get it. Hey, oh, we got iFix it in South Africa, but that's because we were YouTubers and they yeah. shipped it to me. That's it's always the toughest bit being in South Africa, man. Nothing's there. You got the wrong ally. That's true. That was surprising, actually. You know what else is surprising? Seeing that AMD, if they just fix their drivers and their software, can get tremendous performance gains, specifically this time in AI workloads. So just hold your booze for a second. The 7900 XTX achieving an 890% uplift in stable diffusion benchmarks. They're coming for NVIDIA's AI business here. Their iterations per second jumping very much just because they tune all of the things that they needed to on the back end using Microsoft Olive and Direct ML instead of PyTorch. It's a whole thing. But they went from 1.87 iterations per second to almost 19. A yeah, uh, little difference. Which makes it now a better value than the RTX 4080 in terms of how many dollars you have to spend per iteration per second. Well then. That's actually a pretty decent deal. It's not as fast as the 4080, but it does come in cheaper, so that makes it better overall financially. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't beat the 4090 or the H100 or anything on the big side, but it does prove that if AMD puts their mind to it, they might get better at their GPU stuff. And some YouTuber put their mind to making an APU into an AI piece, okay? You're worried about the GPU shortage because AI companies are gonna gobble up all those graphics cards? Looks like the 4600G or any APU out there could potentially be transformed into an AI accelerator, specifically if you can leverage the motherboard's capabilities of taking the RAM you have and allocating that to the, the CPU. So this particular setup gave the CPU 16 gigabytes of VRAM, which allowed them to leverage it to use things like stable diffusion, especially using like some knockoff Rockham support in order to make, it's a whole like, this is not gonna be an easy thing to do, but if it's all you got, you might be able to get it done. So the 4600G could generate a 512 by 512 pixel image with stable diffusion in one minute and 50 seconds, which, doesn't seem to be too bad, especially considering the fact that a 4600G is just not not a very good APU. Who told bro that? I don't know. This feels like putting a graphics card on a Steam Deck moment. It's it, something it you can like do, but probably not realistic to get it done. And what doesn't seem realistic is that, did I just say doesn't? Doesn't. Wow. AMD releasing a 6000 series GPU for your best bang for buck graphics card. Ooh. Turns out the 6750 Golden Rabbit Edition is gonna be potentially launching. It's probably only gonna be a China exclusive for the first little bit, but this bad boy is supposed to compete with the 4060 Ti while only coming in at an MSRP of 299, which is what a 4060 comes in at, which makes it okay value for money. But again, it's on last gen hardware. Efficiency goes out the window, especially because the 40 series is tremendously efficient compared to the 6000 series. It's hard to say whether or not this is a good thing or if AMD is just trying to get rid of stock of GPUs that they probably couldn't sell to miners once that all collapsed and now we have to buy it up a little bit later and we're not going to get any real performance enhancements until they're actually done selling all of that. Conspiracy theory? 
I don't know. But now you don't have to conspire as to why your AMD GPU crashed because they're releasing the Radeon GPU Detective program, which is going to allow you to retroactively find out the root cause of what's crashing your graphics card. I'll take it. Anything. Anything. Just help. You good? Reese is suffering. Good. He's suffering from the success of his AMD card, and we're suffering from the success of this transition. Yoink. Wow. That felt weird. <laughs> And hey, we got deals today, which is, uh, they're becoming increasingly hard to find on weekends. Nothing happens on weekends, but I got something for you. Specifically, ASRock's having a couple of deals on their lower end hardware, which you might want to look at. Starting off with this ASRock B660M Pro. That is mid tier, sir. How dare you call it low end? <laughs> this LGA 1700 socket motherboard is going for only $89.99, which is $30 off. Woo. And then if you're looking to pick up a dedicated AV1 video card, you can grab the ASRock Challenger Arc A380. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be so, you call that thing low end again and we're gonna come to words sir that is that is a mighty fine graphics card right there the a380 is a legend amongst men how dare you that's only 99 dollars, which makes it 20 dollars off and you can get a dedicated graphics card just you know for everyone in one, right? we do it's in the office yeah you've never seen I've it i've never seen it i've not opened the box it's just surprises everywhere and then lastly we have the amd ryzen 7 5800x going for only 189 dollars which that was a 400 cpu brand yep. new five how much did the 5800x launch for 449 wow honestly i was surprised to see it at this price but you know, if you if you want to grab one, here you go. And with that, the deals are done. You can find these and more linked in the video description down below. But until next time, I'm going to hand you off back to Brett for the rest of your hot news. Pull my Cheers. hat. I'm trying to aim. <laughs> well, that was a deal. And Sega had their own deal where they're buying Rovio, the makers of Angry Birds. I could have gotten them a better deal. $776 million? That's a lot. It's oh, a yeah. lot for Angry Birds, man. You put, you put the deals man on it, he'll make sure that you're only spending $776. Five million. Yeah, just I, a little I can discount. Just a little off the top. Million dollars saved is a big deal. You could have made it happen. They're gonna continue to make games and potentially <sighs> new IP with it. I just want to ask why Angry Birds? Not Angry Birds. They bought Rovio, the company that makes Angry Birds. And yeah, what we know like... of mobile gaming, they're earning money every single day. What? How much money does Genshin make? Just too off much. of purely mobile too users, much. primarily. I don't know, this is weird. This is like 15 years too late on the, the Angry Birds train. Kids still play it, man. They're still so. making a lot of money, and it doesn't look like uh, Twitter, X.com, I really hate calling it that, is making- It's not X. I'm sorry, I just- Listen to the man. But turns out Elon Musk wants to get rid of one of those features that you use a lot because, hey, it might be making less money for them. So he tweeted out that he's gonna get rid of the block feature. It's useless except for DMs. I'm saying it makes absolutely no sense, but there's some weird context for this. So there's some details indicating that the reason this is happening is simply because people are able to block advertisers. I've so, been doing that. Yeah, I've been doing you're, the, <laughs> you're the reason I'm Elon's sorry, like, we guys. should get rid of that because we're not making as much money as we need to. And it did lead to a lot of people who are typically on Elon's side with his decision on Twitter decisions saying hey this is this is an exceptionally bad idea for you my guy and even the community note showing that uh, if x were to do this allegedly it would mean that they couldn't be listed in the google play store or apple app store because blocking at, for social media is a primary functionality that is required elon thinks it's redundant to muting which it's just not i don't know what to say for this the mute doesn't work either i still see posts that i don't want to see that's true I've seen it. I've seen him mute people and then it comes back right back up. But what won't be coming back up is posts on Twitter from 2011 to 2014 if they had photos and links. Whoops. Because allegedly this is a glitch, a little bug, but it, the links that use Twitter's native shortening service are now broken because they want to rework are. everything and it's now not Twitter anymore. So if you had precious memories that you were storing on Twitter, please get them off right now. But another social media company is actually making their block feature more robust bust twitch coming out and saying that they are going to make it so that if you block somebody on the site they will no longer be able to watch your streams until you unban them however there are a little few complications with it like the fact that if they log out of their account 
they can still then view it because it's not IP banning. So it is not necessarily a, a full stack solution, but it does make it so that if you don't want somebody being part of your community and or targeting you for harassment, you can now stop them from viewing your streams altogether. That's a good feature. It seems like it. I think making block better makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, I'm not taking it away. Sorry, I'm still mad about that one. But Intel's not taking anything away from us. They're adding to everything. And this is why I continually just think that we have to continue to hope that Intel's going to do something really good with their Battle Mage series of GPUs because they came out with an announcement over the weekend showing off how much they've improved driver support as well as bringing out new features for you to check out how your video games are playing on your graphics card. So they utilize Intel's PresentMon software, which actually congregates all the data together. This has been around for a while and actually a lot of different programs utilize PresentMon in order to make it look good in fancy charts. But this new version is a complete rewrite from the ground up, has new security features, as well as enhanced metrics, data collection, as well as a new feature known as GPU Busy, which allows it to illustrate the duration of which your graphics card is rendering frames. You can see in the Intel overlay on the GPUs that they have, they're really trying to provide users with a lot of graphical data. I like this. Making it so that if you are a gaming enthusiast, you can know what's going on. But the bigger deal, okay, besides just getting to see what your FPS are doing is getting higher FPS. And Intel just continually aging like fine wine, their latest driver boosts DirectX 11 performance again by about 19% in specific games, but it continually shows that Intel is taking this seriously. They are not just resting on the fact that they launched a graphics card, but are sh actually striving to make sure that where they fell short, they are coming up and actually trying to compete with Team Red and Team Green. So 19% faster on DX11 in certain games versus the launch driver. 20% smoother with 99th percentile FPS also being higher, making it so that they are looking much better. I'll take it. Whatever Intel can give us. I'm very excited to see what they have for the next generation, but I don't know. I really like the Arc Alchemist GPUs. This thing has been sitting on the hot news desk for months at this point. I actually randomly saw the video where I asked you to grab it because it was over oh, yeah? on the set and I brought it over and I just, I'm wondering, should I have it installed in my system? as just a mark of solidarity of how much I believe in what Intel could do for the gaming sector. I just, again, Nvidia doesn't need you. AMD doesn't need you. Intel's the only one who's actually got something to prove in the graphics card department. I feel like they're making solid progress. Solid progress. I'm solidly gonna go play more Baldur's Gate. That's what I'm doing. I'm actually gonna do the same. Hey, oh, we should co-op at some point. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we're gonna do Baldur's Gate Birthday. Yeah. On Wednesdays. On Wednesdays. <laughs> I don't know how to that's make that a, better. That's what a birthday is. Yeah, if you guys have a better uh, way of communicating how we're gonna stream that, let me know. But uh, yeah, we got stuff going on behind the scenes over on our Twitch channel. This this uh, episode kind of nose dived at the end. I'm curious to see what our retention is. If you are here till the very end, please comment down below. Birthdays. 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 Baldur's Gate birthday. You got anything else? No. Maybe we just want to drag this out. Yeah. Callan's gonna love this. Hey, Callan. Callan, you wanna participate in Baldur's Gate Birthdays? We can make it like meme review, but we all just, cause the game would stay the same, but we all just kind of role play as like our own character, right? Yeah, and then we make yeah. different choices and the game would be different than our solo adventure. Yeah. Is no, that absolutely. the idea? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Yeah. I'm excited for it. I didn't think I would like Baldur's Gate, but after playing it for a few hours, I think I'm into it. Yeah. And they, hey, it's they one of them, right in. it's one of those games. Yeah. Like, I think it's just cause there's like, you can do whatever you want. Can you? I feel, I don't know. Whenever I play role-playing games where they give me options, I'm like, I have to be me. <laughs> I don't know how to not be me, which is why I think if we had like a multiplayer session, it needs to be like, we're actively committing to a bit. Yeah. And like, we, we got to like we're playing. pre pre make some like characters in our brain. I want you to guess what did I, what did I start as? Who is my, like, was it class? And Catelyn, you're not cutting a single second of this. Okay. <laughs> Are you a fighter? No. Not. Yeah, okay. I know. That was my first instinct. And I was like, I'm not going to do it because that is how I want to play this game. So I'm going to go different in order to force myself into the role playing aspect. A warlock? Oh, it's close. I want wizard. I was trying to think what, what, if I'm trying to think opposite now. Yeah. What yeah. species? Hmm. I don't know. Elf? What? Dragonborn. Nice. What, they uh, look cool. What are you? I'm a tiefling on one playthrough. Okay. Oh, you're doing multiple playthroughs I started, already? I started to play through with Twitch. Uh, oh, like, okay. So that they can do like 
And you can keep your save separate enough? Yeah, that yeah. It, like feels... Uh, there's no, like... Okay. I, and I'm, like, completely changing it. Listening to Twitch on their choices for the... Because it's got the integration. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sweet. See you tomorrow.